Hey everyone, I wanted to hop on here and do a quick review, a multi-year update on my Stanley shop vac that I've had for many, many years. And as you can see from the filth and the dust, this has been really, really well worked. It's been worked hard, it's been abused. Uh, when I actually had my rental car business and my shop, I used this almost in a commercial capacity and this thing just won't quit. Uh, this is the this is the eight gallon bucket, uh, but generally with the how it works with the Stanley shop vacs, the vacuum unit, the motor unit up top is the same. It just clamps onto a different bucket. Yours could be taller or shorter. The vacuum unit, the part that matters, is all the same. As you can see, I'm actually missing. This does come with four wheels. Mine only has two because I backed into it with a car. Uh, my bucket was dented. You can see the dent right here in the bucket. I did actually get most of the dents out, but uh, again. Ran this over with a car. It still works like the day that I bought it. Let's kind of go through it and I'll try to show you what goes with it. All right, so first off, the hose is a pretty decent length. You get about six to eight feet of hose there. Uh, if you basically put this in the back bumper of any car, this is kind of how I use it. Use it from the uh, back seat of any car. You can pretty much reach inside to the front seat and just about anything that you're gonna be cleaning. That's nice. Everything here right now, I have the crevice accessory on. This is probably my favorite one, but um, if I can get that off one-handed. Uh, it's just a standard attachment. You get the uh, you get a brush, you get an extension, and then you also get this really wide angle. You get this one wide angle with the little brush on the side there. I actually used to use this to uh, to vacuum off my bench at the end of the day. It gets all the little uh, all the little dirts, little screws, nuts, pieces, scraps of whatever. This cleans everything else. It's not quite as powerful as when you have the uh, the crevice on there, but it does a well enough job. Now opening this up is super simple to clean it. There's two little tabs here on the side. You basically just push them, push them off to the side, grab the handle, and just pull the motor out of the bucket. Then you can just go out and clean your bucket. I left some dirt in there to let you see what it looks like. It's just dirt. Um, there is a filter under here. All right, this is what kind of makes sure that you don't have a spew of dirt coming out the back here. If you are using this in a wet capacity, remove the filter. There's uh, this big right there, that, that big kind of disc there turns to the left that comes off the filter comes off and if you do if you don't remove that and use it in a wet capacity you will ruin the filter and you'll have to buy another one it'll get soaky it'll get soaked it'll get moldy remove that if you're sucking up water having said that this will remove water just as well as it removes sand or anything like that ask me how i know i've had to get some water out of rental cars before this thing has, has basically done it all now what I also like about these shop vacs is you can use them to suck up or you can actually use them as a blower. Essentially the front here, that comes right off. If you pop it here into the back, just the same way you would, this now is now a blower hose. And, but again, when you're gonna do this, remove your filter. You're gonna get a lot more, uh, you're gonna get a lot more suction or a lot more power, I should say, blowing out the other end of the hose. I think I may have used this twice, but it's cool to know that it's there just in case. Now let's hear it run. I've actually plugged it into an extension cord and it's a simple one switch over here. And it's a, uh, I don't know if you can hear me over the, over the sound of the back. It is really, really loud, but it is super, super powerful. Overall, I recommend it to anybody who wants an inexpensive shop vac that's gonna last them for many, many years. I'm really glad that I purchased this thing way back when, when I did.